Good afternoon folks, just after midday, Monday, about quarter past twelve and uh, for the first time in about, I think a month, we're going to go out for the afternoon. I don't think I've been out since maybe a week before I was ill, which is going back a few weeks now. So uh going to make some preparations and we're going to go. So I just need to finish uh, packing the rucksack. Got a puzzle book and pen. I got a shirt for if it's a bit breezy on the uh, on the cliff tops where we're going. I've taken a blanket out of here that I would normally have um, because I don't need two blankets where we're going. The two blankets is when we're in the park. So I made some space for, for this other stuff. Two bottles of water. I got a flask of coffee, cold, and. Uh, water for, for me and the doggy and her water bowl and a, a pack of biscuits and some doggy treats which Tina will like hearing about, hey babe? Treats! I don't know if you can see her under there you only have to say treats and she'll look at you Okay folks, other preparations I need to make just before we go Solar panels, currently pointing roughly at the sun those need those need moving around and uh, Setting ahead of the sun. Let's have a look. Something like that. An hour or two ahead of the sun. So it gets the sun now and it'll still get it in uh, three or four hours. Likewise, my other panel. I guess that's already a little bit ahead. That's not too bad as it is, I don't think. Um, that will do. I must have already taken that into account. Um, other preps that we we'll have to do, just secure the tent a little bit. I've uh, I've fastened the uh, bedroom as best as it will. And uh, I think I've got everything ready. I think we're ready to go. It's just a case of uh, packing this bag and we'll be ready. Give me a minute and we'll get underway. All right, folks, backpack is packed and he's on my back. Doggy is, doggy is released from her um, secure location, tied to the poles, tied to the logs. So we're about to make a move. Let's go do this. My aim is to just go out for two or three hours. Somewhere around there, four at maximum. Partly because we have to monitor this solar solar power so that we've got lights and, uh, and a phone at night. Um... But yeah, like I said, I mean, it's a lovely sunny day. Let me let me show you. Let's start facing the trees. So that that's roughly east, and because uh, it's noon, well, the sun's roughly speaking south. Maybe not quite yet because it's not true noon, is it? Spain being ahead time-wise of where they should be. But uh, it, look, it's lovely over there, and uh, it's a nice sunny day. I think we're going to go. We're going to go down here and left and down, drop down onto a uh, into a cove and then back up some stairs the other side. You've seen us do this before. Nothing new, so I won't uh, I won't bore you too much with the details. We'll just go and see you when we get there. Later. Well, guys, I said I wasn't going to film until I got to the uh, to the destination, but it's. Uh, it's just so beautiful, I couldn't not. Look at this. Okay folks, pardon the intrusion. If we just freeze frame there while you're looking at that beautiful view. I'd just like to ask you to do the uh, the YouTube stuff, you know. If you're enjoying the video, hit the thumbs up. If you've seen more than two or three of my videos and you're, uh, and you're enjoying following along with my adventures, uh, please consider subscribing. Follow along with my successes and failures, and the happenings in the life of a tramp in Torovieka. Okay folks, back to the video. We're headed over there to those chairs on the top of the next cliff, on, on the top of the cove. But, uh, look at it. It's gorgeous. We live at the seaside, as I might have mentioned once or twice. Tina's not too impressed. Hey babe, come on. Okay folks, we're just on the other side of the little cove here. Coming on up to the seats. 
And it's beautiful still, obviously. Police over on the next cliff. That's what it looks like, anyway. But, uh, here we are. Come on. Come here. Come here. Leave the people alone. <laughs> Come on. Your fisherman friend's not here. No fisherman. Come here. Can I go? Let's have a quick panorama. Including the roses on the next cliff. And back to Super Soul. And pointing up towards where we used to live. And Tina's pulling. Okay folks, we're nicely situated. Tina's got her blanket. Um, that's from a lady called Nicole. A um, Belgian lady, if I remember correctly. Um, last winter. Hey babe, I thought you were laying down on your blanket. I got my puzzle book. Um, and I'm going to sit back now and uh, just enjoy the view and do a couple of puzzles. Spend a bit of time this afternoon. I don't know where Tina's going around the back. She's going to be a nuisance, I guess. And my camera's not turning off. Okay, guys. We're here. We're settled for the afternoon. We have snacks and drinks. Tina's decided not to sit on her blanket. She's gone around the back of the chair and underneath. Because she's Tina, that's how she is. I've got my puzzle book, I'm gonna get on with that and uh, just burn a few hours. Just enjoy some bright sunshine, fresh air, nice views and maybe chat with a few people as they walk past. That'll be me for the afternoon. Uh, if any boats or, or anything exciting comes by, I'll maybe bring you in on that. Until then, Bye for now. There goes my pen. See if we can zoom a little closer. Uh, I can zoom, I just can't hold it steady. Okay, and uh, back out again.
I can't see. Okay, the zoom wasn't coming out, and I've probably lost it. Not that I can see my screen. Okay. Well, folks, quarter to two. I've just done a Sudoku, but uh, it took far longer than it should have. I kept missing obvious, obvious strategies, numbers that had to be in a position. I just wasn't, I just wasn't spotting them. I'd work them out a different way and then realise that it should have been clear to me beforehand from a different strategy. My head just wasn't, just wasn't working in a joined up way. Just wasn't happening. So I put that to one side for a while. Might do another one in a bit maybe. But uh, lovely afternoon. Lovely afternoon still. Tina's been a nuisance, obviously. She keeps pulling on me and barking at people as she does. But uh, I can feel I'm getting a sunburn. I can feel the ultraviolet on me. It is a wonderful clear day. I'll give you another look around. So here we go folks. Roughly speaking, looking north-ish. Around, looking east, over the med. Keep going around. You're looking south towards the centre of Turovieka. But look at the sky. It's wonderful. And the shine off the sea in the distance. See if I can zoom in on that a little bit. A little bit, not too much of it. It's a bit shaky as soon as you zoom, isn't it? Let's see if I can stabilise. Not really. <laughs> That's the Parkinson's. <laughs> Only joking. Probably. So it's south. Off to the west. and back around towards north and where we came from the camps just over just over a couple of bays there okay oh. somewhere out there there's a boat that i can hear but not see quite a loud engine I can see a boat, I don't know if that's the boat. See if I can zoom in on it. That's the full magnification. I can't see anything on screen to be honest. That looks to be the direction of where the sound's coming from. There are a couple of boats three or four actually on the horizon a little bit further around I don't know I don't know why I can hear this one so clearly but not see it I'm assuming it is a boat and that there's not a plane that I'm missing don't think so okay folks later get a shot of this bird in the water. Not sure if I've got it. I think it's a cormorant. Not that I'm an expert. It's a black bird with a long neck. Have I got it there? There it is, I think in the 
they're set to roughly. So we're going to zoom in a little bit more for you. Go a little bit more, that's the maximum. See if I can put my elbows on my knees and stabilise a little bit. Not really. Try again. Where are we? There he is. Can't get any closer guys, sorry. Are we getting that? Have I lost him? Tina, I don't pull. I don't know if I've still got that guys, I can't see my screen. Oh, he's going back across. He's away. I don't know. Maybe yes, maybe no. What about this goal? I can't see a thing. My screen is just so reflective. I'll bring it back. Don't think that's working. A couple of times my screen just stopped responding to touch. I have to use the off button. You see how beautiful it is here though guys, yeah? A lot of people climb down here and do fishing. They fish from down here. A little bit further around, another couple of coves over and you've got, um, you've got people living in the caves on the front. I think that could be quite cold and windy in um, winter. Nice in summer, nice and cool, but I think that wind gets bitter, well I know the wind gets bitterly cold in winter. Because I've, uh, here's the seats where we've been sat, and I know that in uh, January and February I struggle to sit here for more than an hour, no matter how many layers I put on. The wind is just biting, and if it's bringing spray with it, cold water from the sea, you wouldn't want to be down here like living in a cave. I wouldn't anyway. So I don't know what those guys do in winter. I don't know if they if they stay and um, tough it out, or if they find somewhere better. Not sure. I'll ask them the next time I see them. Beautiful though. And, and it's a fantastic day. It is um, shorts and t-shirts still. It's just after two o'clock, 2.02 or 14.02, however you prefer. Um, it's gorgeous. And I'm gonna be coming away with sunburn. It's been a long time since I've actually sat in the sun. I've spent all summer sitting under trees in the park to get away from the sun sitting in the tent some days just suffering putting up with the, with the heat but staying out of the sun but now as it gets a little bit cooler you can actually be in the sun oh. yeah. dog okay folks later
located here. And back. She will. No, it's not doing my click. Bloody phone. Now it wants to record it. Hey baby girl. Say hello to the peoples. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You're gonna sit down on your blanket. Take the blanket. Yes, yes. Sit down. Sit. Sit down on the blanket, I'll give you a biscuit. Okay folks, just after three o'clock and I think we're finished for the afternoon. Gonna head home, pack up the stuff and go. Um, still lovely, but I gotta go and arrange your solar panels. Can't leave them forever. Quick look around and then we'll go. Last look around. Yes, Tina. Need to pack away a blanket and my shirt into the rucksack and we'll be gone. Okay, folks, we went round the block a little way, came back a different way, but uh, here we are headed for home. But look at the view still. Absolutely fantastic day, gorgeous. But uh, here we are back at base. Just one final interruption there guys, a little freeze frame of a view of the road coming by the camp. Um, you've made it to the end of the video more or less, I uh, would appreciate that thumbs up and uh, consider the subscription if, uh, if you have seen a, a few of my videos now, they're deeply appreciated, but uh, here you go, back to the video. Down the little path, around the corner. And we're at the shithole we call home. Okay folks, that's definitely it for today now. From Tina and from me, Delta Mike, out.